Greetings, fillies and gentle co- 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 cults. <coughs> Greetings, fillies and gentle cults. Welcome to my reading of Kentucky Fried Bunny. Let's begin. Wow, your grandma's cooking is delicious! Rainbow Dash exclaimed through a mouthful of chicken at Applejack. The rest of the ponies nodded in agreement. Thank you, dears, Granny Smith replied. I'm glad you liked it. My granny made that using her special blend of secret spices, Applejack added, and I helped her cook. That's just beautiful, said Rarity to the blonde maned orange pony. Did you wash your hoofs before touching the food? I wouldn't want my delicate tummy to get salmonella. Applejack narrowed her eyes angrily at Rarity. Now, now, piped Twilight Sparkle. Let's not ruin our lunch with your silly arguments. Yeah, the chicken is so good, gushed Pinkie Pie. I can eat this forever. Fluttershy, in her usual cute demeanor, bowed her head, flitted her eyelashes, and smiled appreciatively at Granny Smith. Just keep on eating, guys said Applejack as she added another bucket of chicken to the table. There's plenty more where they came from. And aren't you going to eat? She asked Rarity, noticing that the elegant pony had not taken a bite of food. There's no way I'm going to eat this. Yuck! Rarity pushed the plate away with her hoof and stuck her tongue out in disgust. Whoa. Excuse me, said Applejack indignantly. Just look at that! Rarity split the chicken open with a knife, taking care not to touch the meat with her hooves. The chicken is so red. It has barely been cooked. Oh, this will kill me if I have even just a bite. Applejack lost her patience. Why, you? Hold now, dearie. Granny Smith sauntered to the two ponies. If you don't like the chicken, she gently said to Rarity, then please have some of my apple pie. It's my specialty. Wait here. A few minutes later, she brought a whole freshly baked apple pie to the table. Wow! Apple pie! The ponies exclaimed. Even Rarity could not resist. Well, if Granny Smith cooked this without any help from her unrefined granddaughter, then it must be good, said Rarity. And she helped herself to some apple pie. Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershy also had some apple pie. Just keep on eating, girls, said the old pony. Keep on eating. Applejack looked knowingly at her grandmother, and Granny Smith looked knowingly at her granddaughter, and they both smiled. Fluttershy yawned. <sighs> Sleepy already? said Twilight Sparkle. Without a reply, the shy pony fell to the ground, and then the usual energetic Pinkie Pie began to nod, and also buckled down. Hey, it's not yet nap time, guys! Wake up! Rainbow Dash said jokingly. Suddenly, she felt her eyelids grow heavy, and she too was soon asleep. Seeing her friends get knocked out within minutes of each other, Twilight Sparkle realized that something was amiss. She noticed that Applejack had a smirk on her face and demanded, What the hell is going on? Yes, what is going on? said Rarity, feeling some panic in her body. She was starting to feel sleepy and tried her best to shake it away. Applejack grinned devilishly. Oh, you'll find out soon. Oh, wait, she said, twirling her blonde mane. Maybe you won't. Eva. Rarity could no longer fight back her sleepiness and gave in, falling to the ground with a thud. <laughs> Twilight Sparkle held on to the edge of the table, trying to make sense of what was happening. But all she could see 
through her eyes, quickly growing fuzzy, was the evil grin on Applejack's face. Why? She muttered, her knees growing weak by the second. Did her friend just betray her? But why? What reason? That was the last thought on her mind as her eyes closed and she fell unconscious. When Applejack was certain that all of her friends had fallen asleep, she blew a whistle. The rest of her family galloped into the dining area and carried the sleeping ponies to the kitchen. Apple Bloom grabbed some twine and tied up the ponies. Then Applejack took a butcher's knife and quickly hacked off Fluttershy's head. Fluttershy's head fell off her neck, her blood spurting on the kitchen floor like a fountain. Apple Bloom had a bowl ready and collected Fluttershy's blood. This will make a delicious sauce, she said excitedly. Applejack then went on to hack the heads of Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie. Blood scattered around until the kitchen was a dark red. Apple Bloom did her best to collect the blood to make even more delicious sauce. And then Applejack found herself standing over Rarity's sleeping body. Her eyes narrowed in anger, remembering her insults, and said, Wake her up! I want to see her eyes as I slowly slit her throat. So Apple Bloom took some ammonia and made Rarity sniff it. Rarity sneezed. <gasps> Waking up to the pain on her head, she opened her eyes. Ah! Rarity screamed when she saw the blood around her, the headless bodies of her friends, and Applejack standing over her with a kitchen knife. Gah! <laughs> Applejack laughed. She grabbed Rarity by the mane and very slowly slit her throat. Rarity screamed in pain as her blood squirted out of her neck. Rarity had not yet died when the rest of Applejack's family began to chop up the bodies of the other ponies. Granny Smith began to mix the blood with some of her secret spices. This is gonna be delicious, she said smiling. The next day... Applejack invited some young ponies over for a feast. Wow, your grandma cooks very yummy chicken! Her guests exclaimed. Applejack grinned. Keep on eating, guys. Just keep on eating.